race driving SNES <laughs> rating time. It's not a bad title screen. Three tracks, four cars, get points. Get to the checkpoint before you're out of fuel. Defeat Phantom Photon. Stunt and super stunt. I think I am familiar with this game and how bad it runs. Maybe. THQ is a registered license plate in my state. Can I have the THQ license plate, please? Sportster Man. <laughs> they told me to pick this one to learn with <laughs> the automatic. If this game is one of those games that just is really lousy, at running correctly, there probably is a super chip fixed version of it somewhere. If it's the game I'm thinking of, then it runs about as well as Doom. Yeah, it is that game. <laughs> oh my god. Doom Marine got in a car, drove around in his. Well, since I'm on automatic, all I have to do now is turn and try and stay on the road, which is a feat of a sort. What if I go in here? We don't like that. Oh, I didn't mean to skip the instant replay. That's like the only thing that is probably interesting here. Let's do another one. You know, it looks worse in the replay than it looked in game. I didn't think I was on fire. Horn of Gondor ass. Extended play. Guess I'll turn it up. I want you to know that sign says to take that turn at 40 miles an hour, and we're taking it at 120. I'm spinning out. That's what's going on there. If you turn too hard, you're cooked. You're gonna just Super Mario Kart that it. I'm gonna hit the brakes while I turn and see if we can do a drift of some kind or something better than that. It seems to actually work a little bit for control. It keeps you from spinning out at least. I wouldn't say I'm like drifting, but. I don't think I'm going to last any longer here. Oh, 
we made it. Let's choose a, um, I'm just gonna let it run out. Choose the super stunt track here. Kido picks you up and drops you back on the, uh, the road. I don't know what button shifts. Doesn't, doesn't make any sense. Looks like if you hold uh, direction, one of the directions, I'm not sure which, and press the X button, you can shift. I want to do a cool flip off these walls. Oh, come on, do something neat. Hey, back up. I guess, uh, I guess we're done here. <laughs> There's not really anything to do in this game. Well, that's race driving. I might need to add another one to the queue here because we're getting through these a little too fast. Unique ideas. It's um, it's using some technology. Like that's where it shines. Really, is this is like the Star Fox problem of here's this cool stuff we can do now. We can't do it though. We tried. Uh, stage design is it's boring. Race course is not anything special. Even the ones that are the stunts. Controls are, eh, I guess they're acceptable for race car controls. They're what you think they are. Nothing special about them. Appearance is uh, maybe good back then, but I don't really think so. Sound weak. Music weak. There is barely any music. Fascinating. As much as it's a tech demo of a sort, I guess. Not not particularly approachable, not really. Difficulty, uh, mediocre. I don't really feel like it's hard to play. It's, uh... You'll get it. It's just a racing game. It's not got any tricks to it. Learn how to use the brakes. Memorize the course. You're golden. I think you'll beat this. The instant replay feature could be cool, but isn't.
points against the clock is the game. So yeah, you know, F Zero already exists, right? Like that was a SNES title that came out with the console, as far as I understand. That's the game to compare this to, right? F Zero didn't that come out with the SNES? I know it came out before Mario Kart because the Mario Kart devs wanted to make F Zero multiplayer. That's what their goal was. It wasn't 3D, but I'm going to compare this game to F-Zero, a game that I like quite a bit, a game that I think still holds up. We just did the F-Zero 99 thing, looks pretty damn similar to F-Zero, didn't change the controls a whole lot. Uh, F-Zero holds up well enough that everyone was re-interested in it. Um, so you know, that's the standard. This game barely runs, so I'm instinctively just dropping it right next to Doom for playable reasons, but then I have to also consider that I don't actually like it, unlike Doom, which I like a lot. I think I'm having a hard time saying it's a better game than a lot of these because there's nothing to it. It's very empty, and when a game is as empty as this, it makes me want to put it here, but it, the Great Waldo Search has about as much content, but it works. It's, it's almost uglier in a way, but at least it works. It is what it is. It's five minutes of gameplay just like this, but it's Waldo. <laughs> it's... It's the worst drawn, biggest, obvious Waldo there is, but... I think it's a worse game than Jelly Boy and The Simpsons. It's probably... I've already seen more Cool World in 10 minutes than I saw in this game in its entirety. Um, Mohawk and Headphone Jack actually makes me sick, but I know it has a lot of content in it too. I feel like... It's probably worse than Space Football. It's maybe worse than American Gladiators. I think the fact that it runs so poorly is killer for this. Like, it's, it's empty and it runs badly. It really is a $60 tech demo and not really much else. Doomsday Warrior is that ridiculous fighter game. Mr. Do is the arcade game. I feel like I am inclined to drop it above all these things, too. This is the Lord of the Rings game. This is the one I made them play in Cusa Grande. It's playable. It's got as much content in it as... I mean, it, it sucks. It's a big labyrinth, but it's it's got up to the Maria Mines. And it's got characters in it and stuff. Like, there's, there's something to Lord of the Rings, and I can't say that for race driving.
King Arthur and the Knights of Justice is actually broken. This is also kind of actually broken. I feel like it's better than that, but worse than... Nah, it's, it's worse than King Arthur probably and better than King Panther, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It is not uglier than Pit Fighter. This is probably the worst racing game I'm gonna see. I'm having a hard time placing it. <laughs> I'm enjoying the one song. I feel like I'm being too generous with appearance because appearance is the problem, the frame rate. Is it worse than Family Dog? It does have a loop, but it doesn't look very good. I've done it before. I think I'm gonna leave it here. I think it's better than Family Dog. A game which also is criminally short. Mostly because it is pushing new tech. Uh, it's not doing it in an interesting or good, like it needs more power than it's got to use. If it had that, if you play this on Somehow, if you optimized it to actually run right, I bet it would be all right. Not super interesting, but it would be way further down on this list than it is. I'd probably, if it if it ran right, if it ran at like 60 FPS instead of, what, one, <laughs> like five, maybe, I would probably put it in the vicinity of like, probably around here. A game that runs well and is still boring. It is a racing game with just one person, and that's not very interesting to me. That's my game.